you, you practice transcendental meditation right. and you're a proponent, you know, uh, you support that. Do you think that other forms of meditation are just as valid as well to anybody who's interested in meditation that just meditating is in itself the most important thing rather than what type of meditation it is? I'd like to say they're all the same and anyone is fine, but I don't believe that. Um, there's the, the key to me is transcend transcend, experience the deepest level of life. All forms of legitimate meditation have as their goal enlightenment. Like they say, all roads lead to Rome, but some are dirt roads, some are two-lane highways, some are stone roads, and there may be a super highway to Rome. The, the thing is, it's not transcendental meditation, it's this field that does everything. But transcendental meditation from the first meditation will get you to this field. Now there's brain research. And this is the, what's going to separate you know, the, the different forms. Because you can hook yourself to up to an EEG machine, start your practice, and see what it does to the brain. Because the only experience in life that lights up the full brain is truly transcending. If you meditate in a form of concentration, that part of the brain will be lively and bright and fine, but no transcending. Maharishi gives entry to the transcendent easily, effortlessly. It's not a trying meditation. You will transcend your first meditation and everyone after that. It's, it's a miracle, it's a blessing 